don't quite know what to cook, but I know I'm going to have to have a um, salad. <laughs> Did that go? Put these. I wrap these up in tea towels so that they don't rattle when we're driving along. It's quite handy, really. Right. Then, okay. What we have is a fried pepper salad and some chicken. I don't need this, do I? A mushroom stir. Oops, one of that. I'll have them. So I've got those, all from Morrison's. Three for three pounds, so a pound each. And then these, which will be only three meals. So that'll be a pound each. So what's that? Two pounds <laughs> for a meal. I'll do this first. Oh my goodness, that's a lot. Is that two? Yeah, that's two. I'll put that in. So I've got four there. Four for three pounds. Right, olive oil. If you can see that, olive oil. I'll put a little bit in there, just a little bit. And it's already Cajun chicken. So I don't know what's got on it, but Cajun is quite tasty. So I'm not going to add any herbs and stuff like that. All I'm going to do is put the garlic in it and the linseeds. Okay, so I just put a little bit of garlic on it, garlic salt, and then just some linseeds because this makes you, oops, gives your digestive system a break. Don't want that much, do we? Just that much, that's all. Don't need much. And just put them on there. For some reason these don't seem to, they always open the other way. Whichever way I go, it turns the other way, but nothing is on at the moment, no heat is on, okay. And I went to see about my gas today and they said to me, oh, there's enough in there for last year for another week. So I thought, oh, well, I might as well just not get one. Dunk. One, and I'll say thank you chicken for giving me sustenance. And thank you people for whoever made it put this together. It says ingredients chicken breast, spices, glucose syrup, maize starch, dehydrated onion, <laughs> salt, herbs, garlic powder. Oh, I've just put some garlic powder on it, huh? Better not breathe on anybody tomorrow. Crushed chili flavouring and paprika extract. Okay, just a warning that there might be some bones in there, so be careful. Cooking appliances vary. These instructions are given as a guide. Please ensure that the product is piping hot. Okay, but I just need to know how to cook it. Do not reheat. Um, oven from chilled. Uh, I'm not doing it in the oven. I'm doing it on the frying pan. So in the oven it says for 20 minutes at 190. Or guess about 5. But I know how to cook chicken. Right, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut that up. I put this in the fridge. And so that no air gets into it. We're going to do that. Okay. Let's keep it up tight. So I've got another three meals there. I chuck this away. Plastic. See? Can I just get rid of bloody plastic? More plastic, more plastic. doesn't take so long it won't take 20 minutes like this although I probably will put it on very low and slow and cook it for 20 minutes that way I'm not starving hungry at the moment I'm just what I should do is put this on a tea towel to stop it moving around it's a clean tea towel so there you go 
it moving around then, isn't it? Okay. Now they're tiny chunks, so that's good. I'll put that in there. Okay. And then because it's raw chicken, I'm going to have to clean this. Because otherwise I'm going to be poisoning myself and I don't want to do that. Not really. Here we have... I'll undo this so that it's ready, although it's already open because I squashed it into the fridge, you see. And what we've got in there is... I didn't say on the top, I should have looked at it. There's um, mushrooms, onions, uh, bean sprouts, carrots, cabbage. What else is there? I think that's it. I think that's it. But that that would be quite nice. <laughs> Put that on there. Let's get that out. And put it on a low. Push that in. There you go. Uh, and while that's doing, I can just that'll just heat up very, very slowly. What I need is a lid for a pine pan. There you go. Look how these are white now, almost, and the other side's pink. Like little shrimps, aren't they? <laughs> okay, that way. No, there's one thing I'll, I'll never eat a lobster. It's just the way they're killed. I don't like. I'm gonna have all that and that. Oh, I don't know if I'm going to eat it all. <laughs> I mean, it looks almost done now. I will put these in. Oh, my goodness. Seems like too much. Gordon Ramsay, eat your heart out. Yeah. I'm not a, an expert chef, but I do like cooking. I love cooking, but I just haven't got all the facilities to do it in. A little bit of oil. I want to use it. Is it? I mean, that looks like a lot, an awful lot of food there. But that will shrivel down to nothing. <laughs> I'm looking forward to those onions. I like raw onions. Mm. This is one portion of your five a day. Huh. There they are. Oh no, an 80 gram pack is one portion. And this is 320. Oh bloody hell. So, 8, 16, 32. So that's three times. So that should be for three people. And I didn't have any breakfast this morning, which is bad of me. All I've had is a ham roll ham roll and now I'm having this and it should be light it's pouring down with rain out there and it's nice to be able to be in here and cozy so I mean it's going down smaller well not that much smaller but that's been about 10 minutes in there And I wish I had bought some soy sauce or something. But then it's got Cajun chicken in there, so I've got to be careful <laughs> what other tastes I add. I might, I know it sounds a bit weird, but I did buy some um, mango chutney today, and oh, I love that stuff. So I might put a little bit of that on the side. And then I'm just going to watch a film. I don't know what I'm going to watch yet. Oh, my water. Oh, 
of a taste. Mmm, that's done. It does need something though. I think that mango chutney might be alright for it. I've got this. You need it? Sweet tomato and bird's eye. Why bird's eye? Chili chutney. I hope it's not a bird's eye. <laughs> Bird's Eye is a fish finger company, isn't it? Right, I think this is done. So let's stick it on a plate and eat it. There you go. <laughs> Looks like a plate of mush. <laughs> we'll see what it tastes like.